1 Corinthians 0.17, so that you come short in no gift, eagerly waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. So if the traditional view of the second coming of Christ is right, that is that Christ has yet to come, and at his coming sometime in the future, the heavens and earth will be burned up, destroyed, and then we will have the resurrection of the dead physical bodies coming out of the graves and the day of judgment occurring on the last day. Why would Paul deceive them into thinking that they would still be living for that event and the gifts of the Spirit still working as they, the Corinthians, eagerly waited for Christ to return? If the Corinthians would be long dead, some 2,000 plus years removed from this event and Kai, the second coming of Christ, how in the world could they be expected by the Apostle Paul to eagerly wait for an event that they obviously would not be alive to see? Paul clearly implied that the Corinthians would be alive to see the revelation of the Lord by stating that they were to eagerly wait for this event. Was Paul a liar or a deceiver? He either was a deceiver or we have long misinterpreted the Bible. Notice also Philippians 3.20-21. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body, singular, the body of Christ, that it may be conformed to his glorious body. Paul again tells them that they were to eagerly wait for the Savior. This through implication is stating that the waiting was to be done while they were alive. This also implies that Paul taught that Christ would return in their generation or lifetime. Paul also mentions the transformation of their lowly body. This transformation is the same transformation that Paul speaks about in 1 Corinthians 15.5, 1-5-2. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. This speaks of covenantal change or transformation from the complete fading away of the old covenant to the full change or transformation to the new covenant or mode of existence.